Today we are making breakfast salads. So first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Next, you want to chop up your butternut squash, about one cup. I cheated and bought the pre-chopped variety, so mine's already done. And we're going to chop up that red bell pepper, uh, about half if you're making it for one, or the whole pepper if you want to make two. Okay, veggies are all chopped. You might notice there is tomato in mine, and that's the great thing about a healthy recipe like this. You can kind of customize it to what you like. So I did add some uh, small grape tomatoes in with my mix for my salad here. And we're going to go ahead and use some olive oil now, about a tablespoon, and toss the veggies really well with that tablespoon of olive oil. Something to note here is you always want to use whole olive oil in your cooking. You don't want to do the extra virgin because when you heat that up, it actually becomes an unhealthy fat. Adding in a teaspoon of, half a teaspoon, excuse me, of pink Himalayan salt. Adding in a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And sprinkling on some black pepper to taste. So however much you like in yours. Next, we just want to stir it all up, mix that all together, and get those veggies well coated in the olive oil and seasonings. Okay. Try to make sure your veggies are in a single layer and not overlapping each other, and then it is time to get them in the oven. Set your oven timer for about 20 minutes. I would check them at 20 minutes for doneness, and if they're not quite as soft as you want them, maybe cook them for about 25 minutes, but keep checking on them. You don't want them to burn individual packs of guacamole. So if you're ever in a pinch and you need fresh avocado, but none of them are ripe enough, you can always use a little bit of this veggies are out of the oven eggs are cooked and it's time to start assembling the salads first thing is a bed of spinach in the bowl and then on top of that bed of spinach i just put some of those amazing roasted vegetables next is the over easy eggs and again, I cooked them over easy. You can cook them however you like them done. And then lastly, I finished them up with that guacamole packet. Like I said, fresh avocado is what it calls for, but there were no good ripe avocados at the store. So this is always a great alternative. And then just a little bit of a chiffonade of basil because I've got this really awesome fresh basil up here and that is good on pretty much anything. So if you're looking for a really nice option, something a little different, these breakfast salads will really hit the spot. Thanks for watching.